This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in a Tesla Model 3, but in this video I'm going to show you guys the charging curve of the Tesla Model Y. It has been improved. Oh, okay, let's roll the tape. Uh, so you see now we actually hit 250 kilowatts. Just briefly, okay, just briefly. But you see that we have a nicer and flatter charging curve. If you look at the center versus the left side, it's actually charging around 20, 30 kilowatt at least in the, in the beginning. And then it starts to taper off a bit. But you have way nicer charging curve now. And also I include the 75 kilowatt hour pack to the right you see that was tested not long time ago only in february and that one is also having a very similar characteristic to the middle one where the, the six months old charging session was kind of slow but you see i've been talking about this many times before that uh, uh, in the beginning when tesla releases a battery pack it charges kind of slow and then after a while when they gather more data they will unleash more power and this is exactly what happened so um uh, one other thing you should notice is if you look at the cell temp mid there that the center one is at 58.8 degrees celsius whereas the left is at 53.8 this is something i never noticed before and also to the right it's also hotter and i remember also with the mc hammer battery the panasonic battery it was hovering at almost 60 degrees celsius so this makes me wonder maybe when the uh, the battery is new and uh, the tesla doesn't know too much about it they are careful with the temperature they don't want to run it too hot but as soon as they gather enough data then they actually allow it to go warm and then I guess it's, yeah and also Tesla is not unique for releasing a battery that doesn't charge that fast initially and then they go faster I've seen this also with Polestar initially Polestar peaked at 130 kilowatt and the charging curve wasn't that nice and flat but then eventually they improved it to 150 kilowatt and flat the curve and the same thing happened with also the MEB cars and also with the NEO and uh, the Mach E is also charging faster now than before so it's not something unique with Tesla it's just the way the car industry works um, but uh, anyway you see that um, it is charging nicer and flatter and it's more convenient on long trips because it means that when you talk, take a longer stop then uh, you will probably <laughs> when you come back to the car after food break you will be uh, greeted with 90 percent or something and i guess if you have to take a short stop then that's almost even better because then you'll be riding on way faster wave in the beginning and then you can just charge you around 50 percent or something like i did when i did 1000 kilometer challenge if you just want to rush it and you will arrive faster so uh well not much to see um you will see that uh actually the middle one is leading over the 75 kilowatt pack but uh, of course you have to keep in mind that the 75 pack is a larger battery so uh, it could almost seem like uh, well i'm not sure about uh, the charging speed here but it could almost seem like the the, the new 70 kilowatt hour pack charges faster than 75 but at least uh i haven't done the all the analysis there but uh, i'm just comparing in this video i'm, I'm primarily comparing the 70 packs and you see that it is charging nice and flat even at high still a charge now 78% versus 73% to the left it's even charging faster so this is great news because in the beginning I was kind of disappointed of how slow it was but then <laughs> you can always ask yourself well how healthy is this because you know the degradation happens if the battery is exposed for high temperature which we have here and also at high state of charge the, the, it's like a product of high temperature multiplied by high state of charge multiply by the time you spend there but i guess you don't spend too much time i mean we're not talking about hours and days here. we're just talking about minutes so you just want to quickly charge up to whatever and then get going but i would assume that actually when charging past 90 percent it's not optimal the closer to 100 percent the worse it gets but okay you're not, you're not going to destroy the battery it's going to end up like the kia soul battery here but still uh i guess if you care about the battery health maybe just charge to 80 90 percent and then charge more often instead but then when you charge more often you then have to heat up the battery more often right but they're kind of sure here see the middle one actually hit 90 percent first what a nice surprise and the 75 pack is slightly behind but it has uh yeah you actually you see here even at this higher state of charge uh, it could seem like the 70 pack in the middle is charging faster than the 75 pack wow so um this is why i actually went past 90 percent because i want to show you that uh, traditionally tesla is not known for having nice and flat charging curve and 
uh, Tesla's tend to charge dog slow past 90%. Well, apparently not anymore. I guess not with this uh, LG battery, maybe a different story with the Panasonic battery, because now you will see that the left and the right side, they, they end the charging. I end there at 90, I usually end at 90%, but I wanted to see past 90% with the, with the middle end. And I guess if, if there is a case where you have to go to no man's land and you don't have charging, like, capabilities over there maybe you can even go to almost 100% um, but I guess at one point I would also probably plug out but uh, this is not too bad I, I think it's not, not too bad if you go to almost 100% and you're still getting some 20 kilowatt uh, charging speed so um, but of course uh, maybe you shouldn't do this too often because then you might uh, degrade the battery faster so um, but okay, so anyway, so this was nice. Uh, I think towards the end, yeah, you see, towards the end it goes kind of slow. Uh, and also towards the end now, the extra percent you get is kind of pointless. But uh, again, it depends where you're going. If you want to have AC over there, then of course, just go uh, 100%. I wonder if I actually went to 100% here. I'm going to see, will it stop? But uh, no, no, I think I, I stopped it because it hit 100%. I was thinking, what about going to 101%? One and, one and, uh, <laughs> Why not? Well, actually, I stopped there because it was kind of okay but okay i'm going to show you something else here so here we have a graph also of uh, the charging curve and you will see that um, all over the line now it's going faster so before it only hit well only huh? it was hitting 200 kilowatt so the whole charging curve has been shifted and it's nice and flat now huh wow do you like that shit, huh? Well, actually, towards the very end, it seems to almost uh, go uh, with a with a blue line there. But this is way more pleasant. And also, yes, uh, ideally you want to have a, a, a e-tron flat charging curve. But how healthy is it, right? I think this this kind of charging curve is healthy. And uh, well, I should point out that at least when I did 1,000 kilometer challenge, I didn't really hit 250 kilowatt. I actually never hit 250 kilowatt, but I did an, at least hit around 200, 220 kilowatt many times. And that initial jolt you get past 200 kilowatt uh, really helps when you just want to fill up the battery fast. Uh, so it still helps, of course, any high power in the beginning always helps. And then, but uh, you can see that still, uh, you still get a nice and flat curve, even up to 50%. So. I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't know what you guys think. Huh? Do you like it? It's way better now. What? Uh, is it to the point where it's good enough or do you want even more speed? Because I get the impression that yes, the Panasonic battery charges even faster. Even the one, the one in uh, MC Hammer, for example, it charges fast like a boss. I think this one here, the LG battery at 50%, it's hovering around 100 kilowatt. The Panasonic battery, I think it was hovering around 100. 20 140 kilowatt something at 50 percent <laughs> now how healthy is it right because i measured some significant uh, degradation on that pack but it did have some supercharging though hmm. but okay anyway i've been talking too much now in this video so i hope you enjoyed the video uh, as always thank you for watching and talk to you later